Hey everybody, um, got a little side project going on here related to the Mopar Mansion build. Um, so, as you can see, we got an Arduino and some things going on here. I'll uh, walk you through it in a moment. Basically, I had been meaning to fix my speedometer eventually and my gauges and add a transmission coolant uh, temperature sensor ahead of this road trip. But we were we went up to do some rock climbing the other weekend and uh, I started hearing a clicking noise, click, 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 that got louder and louder and louder and louder, and I was like, this isn't right. I pulled over, tried to figure out what was going on. Is it a, is it a vacuum leak? Is it a, is something spinning? Is it the wind? Uh, checked the oil and found that the engine ran out of oil. Uh, and it was just, I mean, it had a little left, but it wasn't getting it up to the lifters and they were sticking. So, I mean, that is, that is such a foolish move on my part. I obviously just assumed the truck was going to be in good condition. I need to do a better job of checking the fluid levels. But beyond that, my oil pressure sensor had broken when I went to adjust the ignition timing. Or my buddy actually helped me adjust the ignition timing. And uh, I went to put the wire back on and the top just snapped right off because of this old plastic piece. So... I would have probably known about my oil level if I had not, if I had a working sensor. And anyway, so between that and some other things, I was looking at gauges and was, you know, trying to get this whole dash thing sorted about because I'm, you know, supposed to drive all around the country in this old truck, kind of want to know what's going on with my car so it doesn't break down on the side of the road. Um, auto meter, video, those gauges are great, but they're super expensive. You know, it's like 50 to 70 get dollars a gauge and then you also have you know it's like 150 for a tachometer or a speedometer that all has to be wired up and uh you know i'd have to make a bezel something to hold it and i'd want it to be kind of integrated with the truck so it would be a pretty big expense and for a lot less i mean you know this is like 70 bucks in arduino parts here and some stuff i had lying around I can uh, build a way cooler little car dash computer um, and monitor all sorts of things and also record uh, data and calculate some things. So basically what I got going on here is a little four, uh, four row, 20 character, 20 character per row LCD screen, a little phone style keypad. This little board controls the LCD screen and then the Arduino obviously and then I just put some holes in some boxes just to hold some of my sensors. I have oil pressure, transmission temp, coolant temp. This fan is going to have a magnet attached to it to test the Hall effect sensors. So I'm using two Hall effect sensors. One is going to be attached to some part of the engine to get engine RPMs. Another is going to be attached to some part of the drivetrain to get the speed. Um, in addition to this, I also have a voltage, uh, battery voltage and this cool little guy here which is a digital vacuum pressure sensor so i'm gonna have to mock up a little surface mount board with some capacitors to get this to work but that'll that'll give me uh intake vacuum make sure i don't have any vacuum leaks so all these sensors are going to be hooked up to a multiplexer um because most of them are just measuring analog voltage through voltage dividers and I will probably also hook this keypad up through a set of voltage dividers so it can only use one analog pin. Um, so yeah, that's basically that's basically the summary of the project. All these sensors are going to display the data on this LCD. Um, and then eventually I'd like to integrate this SD card real-time clock board so that I can log the data. And one idea that I'm really excited about is to use this logging board in conjunction with this keypad so that when I go to a, do a gas station fill up, I can you know go to a menu and say, you know, add fill up, type in the amount of gas I purchased and the cost of it. And then with the miles that are recorded over time with the speedometer, I'll be able to get a moving average uh, record of my gas mileage um, and see if things are, you know, tuning adjustments on the carburetor or make it better or worse. Um, and you know all this is really easy, relatively with uh, programming the Arduino. So uh, 
before we waste too much time, I'm going to plug this guy in and show you what I've done so far. So this is uh, just basically the user interface, which I was mocking up to get all the, all the data that I want. So where the asterisks are would be other um, numerals. A lot of this is in progress. I just wanted to basically make sure that the numbers that I would display within the ranges would show up and that I'd have the labels and be able to show some special characters. I got this little drop and thermometer and lightning bolt um, because there's just not a lot of space here. Um, a lot of them are hooked up right now through this little potentiometer so that I can see how the values change relative to uh, some range. So you have, you know, obviously it's not going to be like this, you know, you're not going to get gas and lose gas like that. But, you know, at, if you focus on the gas gauge as the car drives, the gas will go down, 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 down. Um, the top graph bar, that one asterisk, asterisk, asterisk is going to be the engine RPMs and this will be like a little visual tachometer display then the speed um, miles per gallon then oil pressure coolant temperature battery voltage then transmission fluid temperature and vacuum so should be a pretty cool project I gotta get the sensors wired up and start testing this Hall effect stuff and get some other things going on so uh, yeah it'll be nice and uh, let me know what you think. Put some comments down there. Subscribe if you want to see more updates on this or the Mopar Mansion build. Uh, thanks for watching.